jotted some notes. Andrew's way to the cave is caved in. There must be another way out. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. So what he's saying is he's a pussy. What I'm hearing is, spoiler alert, there are monsters, do not fight them. Pretty much. That is, kills. yeah, if anyone or anything hears me, I best off. Oh, I skipped it, my bad. My bad. Sp my bad, everyone. So what he's saying is you're supposed to throw glass around and break it. So yeah, that seriously. Ah, oh, stuck. I'm trapped. I need to get out. Man, this is dark. You want to hit the lights real quick? Yeah. Did you run out of your uh, bright stick? Well, I don't want to use the bright stick. Uh, I can see. Okay. All right, and we're back. Oh, shit. All right, I can't see. So we'll glow stick that real quick. Northern... We need to get the explosives. That's definitely it. Yeah, you think so? Actually, no, probably not. Okay, well, we're obviously this little circle because that's what that says. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we'll just go. We'll go to the we'll go to the, the office because it's, it's next close. closest. Oh, looks like you got scary vision. So mm -hmm. That's good. No, I think in this game actually the blue uh, means that you are stealthed. Oh. Yeah, that was confusing for me too uh, when I playing like Amnesia where you're. Yeah, well, you're used to playing games scary. where this is this is definitely a bad thing. So it's a good thing. That's that's good. All right, I think the office is back here. Yeah, there it is. We oh. can see. Awesome. All right. Obviously, I need this typewriter. Yes. Kobe. I wasn't trying to make that into anything. I just. Look, we found a bomb. I don't think that's what that is. It's backstrand. One can believe. 15th of August, 1945. Command Bunker. Emergency Airstrip Zulu Weekly Report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular su supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I've ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in. Due to increased snowfall, one wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom, and I'm sure that's where they learnt the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I've now locked up that manual in a chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. Great, he just told us what to do. Wow. I think there's more. Oh, that's the game. I thought that was my computer making that noise. I was like about to get really upset. It's dripping. Ah. It's here. Oh, there you go. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I can't help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected sometimes. I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out there. Supply requisition order. Dynamite for excavation purposes. Seven bayonets. Not necessary in my opinion, but procedure states we should have a full complement. One industrial ice pick for removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch. Hint, hint, I guess. Mm -hmm. One pair of reading glasses. Category 7C. In order for myself, my glasses are in rather poor state of repair. I could do with replacing. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified for potential bomb damage. An excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find. An artifact buried in the earth, discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man made and may have been working and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what it looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO M Major. He is Major Major. Mm. Could be Minor Major. Yeah, he's Minor Ma He's Major <laughs> Minor. There you go. Yeah. Woo. Man, an old man clutching something unseen. He's strange, yet he is no stranger. 
Never seen before. Still, I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him. Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. I don't know, yeah, I just, hey, it could have been whatever, right? It's a picture of a British platoon. It must date back to World War II. I suppose this mine was converted into some kind of bunker. You doing okay there, Austin? You seem a little quiet. Yeah, it's just a scary noise. Is it? I just keep hearing it. I think oh, it's, it's just out there. dripping. Hey, ah. there's... Another long note. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th of August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of Death Mine. Quote unquote. Yeah, I know. Death Mine! <laughs> it sounds like the most heavy metal band like that's based around rocks. There we go. We rock so yeah. hard. <laughs> I guess it could be like an explosive mine. Mm. But that seems redundant, right? Mm hmm. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally soon into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers in the northwestern lead mine last year. Well, that kind of spoils that one, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, they discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a phosphate 4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties that may be present in the rocks. Few locals were conductive to interview Oh, conducive, sorry. Would help if I could read, huh? I don't think I can do better. But those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as Tungai live in the mountains. The university is waiting the results of chemical testing studies continue. Definitely turn guy. Yeah, I definitely think it's that weird ghost thing that I obviously cannot pronounce. So there's a key in that drawer. Out. Nope. What do you think will be in this drawer? It says no, no drawer. What's that? It says no, no drawer. So what do you think will be in there? Decapitated head? I don't know. It's nothing. You Damn. Lose. I lose. Do Bob, I tell me he's won. Yeah. Get a decapitated head. Oh. Uh, I need a key. Oh yeah, no, where am I going to get a key? Big Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Oh, okay, so this is just a bunch of materials that we need, so we just have to walk around and collect shit then. Pretty much. No, nothing there. Nope. Ah, aha, but the typewriter. <laughs> I got this. I'll get there, don't you worry. Yeah, no. As I slide, I hope whatever, I hope whatever is in there isn't important, right? Don't worry, it's explosives. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what does that drawer say in nitroglycerin? I don't know, I can't get it open. Good book. Beef oh, jerky. Oh, beef jerky. Mm -hmm. Because as we all know, beef jerky definitely never gets old. Have you ever eaten? This is from like 1940, right? Yeah, no. What so year is it now? In it's this? it's definitely not that. Did you just eat those? No, like, I didn't. I picked it, up the painkillers. I think it, it was, made it sound like. It. I think it was a like a pill clicky noise. Okay, like the the bottle. Come on, clean out your ears, bro. I need to open my ears. You need to open your your ears. You need to listen with your eyes, bro. All right. We just got hurt again. Yeah, I guess. Right. What is that? <laughs> Oh god, is there something else down here with me? I can't just wait for whatever's around that corner. I need oh. to- Oh my god, is that like a safe dog? Oh my god. What is that? Kujo. Seriously. Oh, I should- Jesus, I've never been this scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. If anything gets within more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I'd better not stare it out. 
Anything within my field of vision might make me panic. And then I'm a goner. Scene. Dude, is that thing still there? I hear it. 